Yo, 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 what's going on, man? It's Uppercut TV, so check it out, man. Uh, this is something that's so Captain Obvious, but not obvious. So, coincidentally, Jake Paul releases a video on his IG basically claiming that once again, your boy Tyson Fury has fumbled the bag by pulling out of this mid-August clash that was supposed to take place at Madison Square Garden, New York, New York, you know, my city, my town. A week before the first actual press conference, which was slated to take place next week. Now, at the same time, well, let me let me backtrack. Rewind select button. <laughs> Yesterday, Nate Diaz, you know, everyone's favorite's favorite, USC legend, started to go at Dana White, basically trying to debo him and telling him, like, listen, either you book me a fight or let me out of my contract, man. Stop holding me back, you know? Um, on some Julian Lane shit. I want a bang, man. I want a bang. You know what I'm saying? Basically telling Dana White, like, listen, man, book me a fight or let me go, man. I want to get, I, I, I need to hit the ring. A day later, J. Paul hits us with this. Now, prior to all this, the biggest fight all got, got on his truth. The biggest fight that J. Paul, and the most lucrative, I might add, the biggest fight that J. Paul could fucking pull right now will be a clash against Nate Diaz. One of the best chin in the UFC, the most durable, one of the most durable fighters in the UFC has ever has ever had. In addition to that, pure, pure point blank. If not the if not the best, by damn sure one of the best strikers the UFC has ever had. He has the top-notch boxing in MMA. Everybody knows that man. Him and George Masvidal have the best striking and boxing and boxing hands in in the promotion. You know what I'm saying? So again, is it is it Captain Obvious? Not so obvious that this is basically a push to promote the already agreed upon and signed upon match between Jake Paul and Nate Diaz. Is this the reason why Dana White has not signed off on his next fight? Because he has already agreed upon the terms to with Jake Paul behind the scenes. Let's backtrack another couple of weeks into last month. Dana White was on um, Logan Paul's Impulsive podcast talking about, you know, potentially signing uh, Logan Paul and potentially doing business with um, Jake Paul. So again, is this all basically free amongst all the chaos? Is this just all a ploy and just a big, a big hype, a big way to get basically get people like me, people like others, all these boxing overall um, combat sports aficionados to start thinking and start coming and arriving to the same conclusion. Are we about to really see Jake Paul get tested for the first time in his young boxing career? Is we really about to get Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz live in Madison Square Garden, the mecca of boxing? Late August, mid August? Tell me so it ain't so, so Captain Obvious, not obvious. Come on, man. Leave your comments in the in, in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. But I think the writing's on the wall, man. We're about to get a fucking super, super mega fight next um next month. Or in a month and a few weeks from now. Between Jake Paul and Nate Diaz, man. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know, man. It's your boy, 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 boy. Uppercut TV. Gang, gang. One.